All right, so it's summertime, baby. It's hot out, it's 90 degrees out. So the first thing you do is put on a bunch of sunscreen, right? And welcome to Life Sam's Living, baby. <laughs> no, that's not what we're doing out here. That's not what you want to do. Everything is backwards on this planet. I'm here to tell you everything is a lie. I mean, you got to break the matrix. You got to break this virus that's been planted on this earth right now. Let me tell you why it's a lie. Because sunscreen does not prevent cancer. Sunscreen actually causes cancer. Yes, you heard it. From Light Samps, it causes cancer. Everything is made to manipulate and trick you. It's insane, you know? Check it out. The sun, you know, it gives life to everything, first of all. It's not gonna... God didn't set it up to hurt you. All this new craze about staying out of the sun, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's absolutely insane. You know, people got dirty, dirty bodies. That's why they can't handle the sun. The sun puts off three UV rays, okay? UVA, UVC, <laughs> let's do it in order. UVA, UVB, UVC. UVC we won't talk about much because that gets filtered out by the atmosphere and it doesn't really reach us. Um, UVA, that is the ultraviolet radiation that is the dangerous rays. You know, those are the ones that you know, could potentially cause cancer. And uh, I'll get to that in a bit though. I mean, again, the sun doesn't give you cancer. So you got the UVA, you got the UVB, which comes through, which that is what your body can take and absorb and convert to vitamin D. Okay, that's the important part. UVB gives you the vitamin D. And that's what you want in your body, you know what I'm saying? That's what you want. So what do these chemicals and these sunscreens do? Okay, when you put them on, what they're going to do is they're going to block the UVB rays. Okay, and they're going to let the UVA rays come through. Okay, and what did I just say? The dangerous rays are the UVAs. And the UVBs are what your body converts to vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is your cancer protector. You know, an ample supply of vitamin D cuts cancer literally in half, you know, in clinical and studies, okay? So, if you're putting this sunscreen on and it's blocking what your body converts to make vitamin D to protect you, from skin cancer and from radiation and from things like that that's just insane and it's letting the uva come through the dangerous ones that's what that's what this sunscreen does okay i mean did you just understand what i said uvas are the dangerous ones the uvbs the body converts to vitamin d you know to make your body healthy from radiation and it blocks the UVBs. It blocks the vitamin D conversion and allows the dangerous ones to come through. How insane is that? How insane is that, okay? And then, not to mention all of the fillers, all the crap that's put in this toxic compound, all the preservatives, you know, like the parabens. Um, you know, these things can, you know, these things, these parabens mess up your hormones, disrupt your hormones, disrupt your entire endocrine system. You know, just destroy it. And these are things that are just being soaked on people's bodies. I mean, it's, and on top of that, when you go into a pool and you got, you know, like chlorine in the water, that chlorine mixes up with all those toxic compounds and just creates a chemical crap storm <laughs> of and it absorbs straight into your body you know 
that's another thing. When you're reading these things in the back of the sunscreen, you're reading these chemicals and these things. If you can't pronounce it, if you can't eat it, don't put it on your body. You shouldn't be putting anything on your body that you literally can't straight up eat. You know, and that's just, that's just how it is. I mean, it's crazy. The skin is such an absorber and it just takes in everything. Yet we're putting these chemicals on it thinking it's safe. You know, there are no chemical solutions for lifestyle related problems. There's just not, you know. I mean, you know, and on top of all that, when people, when you hear about people getting skin cancer, things like that from the sun, all that stuff, the body was already dirty to begin with, and the body was already unhealthy, and then the, the sun is just bringing those... Uh, toxins to the surface to your skin the Sun is drawing up all the crap all the crud and it's just bringing those toxins to the skin you know if the Sun never brought those toxins to the surface they would have had cancer in some other part of the body you know they would have had cancer somewhere there cancer somewhere here you know the Sun just brings it to the surface the Sun's trying to cleanse the Sun's trying to heal everyone's blaming the Sun and it's poppycock you know it's a hundred percent poppycock you know on top of all that it's just unnatural it's an unnatural product for an unnatural lifestyle you know we should be in the Sun all the time we should be getting as much Sun as we can on top of that we should all be near the equator I mean that's where humans thrive and that's where we're really meant to be uh, you know once you're moving further and further away from the equator you know, that's when, you know, the suicide rate just starts going up and up and up and, and all kinds of stuff, man. I mean, you know, if we're cooped up in the wind, you know, inside all winter, all fall, all spring or whatever, and then we're just going outside in the summer, and then boom, exposing ourselves to like 8 to 10, 12 hours of sun or whatever. I mean, of course, there's going to, things are going to happen to our body. Of course, we're going to get these sunburns. Of course, you know, it's going to happen. That's... That's how, you know, I mean, what do we expect? We should always be, even when there's cloud cover, okay, there's still UV rays coming in. You can still get sun on your skin. Get sun on your skin, baby. You want sun on your skin. I'm here to tell you, you want that power. You want it. All right. And if you can't get sun on your skin, man, maybe you should think about relocating. You know, I know I am. <laughs> Uh, I'm thankful it's you know August right now in the Pacific Northwest and I'm able to get some sun on my skin and I get out whenever I can 24 7 man and I'm not afraid of the sun you know you clean your body out you get your body clean and green and mean and you're not gonna burn like that man I mean I used to get burns out the wazoo crazy burns and I was on the standard American diet man my, my complexion was crap I was pale I was you know it's terrible but I got on the raw vegan diet, man, and if I do burn, you know, I'm going to be in the sun for a long time, and it's going to be, you know, gone by the next day or two, you know. I'm not going to have crazy amounts of reddish peeling and scratching and itching and all that crap, you know. And, and man, it's just, and the cleaner you eat, man, I mean, get some chlorophyll in your diet, you know, all this stuff, you see this? chlorophyll all this green what do you think protects the plants the plants are out in the sun all the time the chlorophyll protects them taking chlorophyll you know taking chlorella that's the highest you know that's the biggest amount of chlorophyll you know ounce for ounce in the world so i mean i take chlorophyll every day baby you down that down that and gets clean chlorella clean chlorella is the best brand of uh, chlorophyll you can ever, uh, the best brand of chlorella you can ever get it's grown indoors doesn't have bull crap in it anyway that's a whole nother video but yeah man you clean the body out and you get on the fruits and the veg and I'm telling you you'll be able to soak in and be in the Sun so much longer and that's another thing you know it sometimes it, you know it's even unnatural to be in the Sun for that long you know for extended periods of time and in, in nature we wouldn't we wouldn't do that you know we wouldn't 
uh, you know, we would find shade. We would find a big tree, you know. We would find somewhere where we can find shade if we were starting to feel a burn or starting to feel a red. We wouldn't just, you know, sit there and bake in it all day, you know. So, you know, you go to the beach or whatever, get an umbrella if you're, you know, if you're sensitive to the sun, if you're working your way up to it and, you know, building a, a tan. Uh, you know, pop an umbrella down and, you know, get, you know, get be in the sun for a little while, a few hours, and step back under the umbrella for a few hours and step back out. I mean, there, there's ways to do it, you know, and it, if you have to use sunscreen, man, God, I don't even know what to say. I mean, definitely try to find one with no fillers, no crap, no junk, no chemicals, no parabens. And, but I mean, even those are going to still block out the UVBs. That your your body converts to vitamin D's, which protect you from the UVAs and everything, you know. Um, I don't know, man. Coconut oil, you know, I've heard that works good for a sunscreen. It's like SPF seven or eight. Uh, I've heard people making their own sunscreens out of like beeswax. I know it's not 100% vegan, but you know, if you find alternatives to do something like that, um, God, but. Please, dude, these, these sunscreens are, are insane. Uh, you know, I don't recommend them a bit, you know. Use all the tips that I shared in this video. I mean, you know, it's just a product that was made because we're living outside of Mother Nature's laws. You know what I'm saying? And it's just another lie that we've all been taught. It's another chemical <sighs> it's another chemical crap storm, man. And, uh, like Sam say ain't having it, okay? Neither should you. So, uh, I'd throw that message out there. Summertime, you know, well, it's about the middle of summer. It's all good. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this question. Oh, what's so bad about sunscreen? You know what I'm saying? Well, there you have it. Repeat and watch the video again if you didn't understand me or hear me. <laughs> Sunscreen causes cancer, okay? <gasps> Period. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Light Sam's out. Peace.